Now, the last video we looked at was a simple introduction to how to create a MyBlock using the LEGO programming language. Um, and it really was quite basic. We didn't use any input parameters. In other words, we didn't have any settings that you could change about your MyBlock in the same way that the action blocks, like the move ones, that come with the LEGO programming software have a number of settings that you can change. So if we want to build proper complicated programs, we want to be able to add settings to our MyBlocks. So that's what we'll look at this time. Now, the example I'm going to use to look at this is uh, significantly more complex than the last one. We're going to look at how to make a MyBlock that with the correct settings will make your robot turn through um, regular polygon shapes. So an equilateral triangle, a square, a regular pentagon, a regular hexagon, and so on. Now, we won't go into the math behind this, but you'll see on the screen there now, this diagram shows you what kind of angles your robot has to turn through at each corner to make those shapes. So you'll see for a triangle it's 120 degrees, for a square it's 90 degrees, for a pentagon it's 72 degrees, and so on. Um, now we know that that's not the angle that the robot is, has to be programmed to turn through. We know that if you want the ro robot to turn through 120 degrees in real life, then the motor setting has to be something significantly different, because the motor setting is based on the separation of the wheels and stuff like that. So I'm not going to give you a number to use for that. The number you'll use for that you determine yourself, and it will vary from robot design to robot design. But basically, if we look at it, if we want to get a correct um, shape, then we'll be changing two things. We'll be changing the length of the sides, and we'll be changing the angle it turns through each time. And we'll also be changing the number of times you do that. So a, a uh, triangle would have a certain length sides that you you decide how long you want the sides to be. It will turn through angles of 120 or whatever that happens to whatever setting on your robot happens to give you 120 degrees. And it does that three times. So there's three settings we have to do that. Alright, so now that we know that we have three settings, we'll start creating our my block. Now Thinking beforehand about what kind of settings you're going to have for your my block is very important because last time we saw that you could, actually we didn't see that, but if you ever want to edit your my block, you can double click on it and it'll bring up what's inside it and you can change it to some degree, but the one thing you cannot change is your input parameters, the settings. Once you've decided on your settings, if you realize you've made a mistake and you want to add something or delete something, you can't do that. You have to go back and make the entire block again. So it's a really important that you think clearly about what your my block's going to, what settings you're going to have for your my blocks before you get into it. All right, so now I know that, I'm going to start off with a loop because I'll need to repeat the movement a number of times depending on, um, depending on what kind of shape I'm doing, whether it's a triangle, square, pentagon, and so on. I'm going to have a move block that makes it go forward. Just do it on for seconds. This is how I'm going to get the length of my sides. So I'm going to just do it on for seconds, and it's going to be the time that it goes forward for that determines the length. Okay, the longer the time, the longer the length of the sides. And then I'm going to have a second block that allows me to move, and that's going to be on for the grease, I'm going to drag it to the right so that the robot spins on the spot. And then this setting here is what's going to be determined how much the robot turns through. And um, therefore, you know, what kind of shape it describes. And the last one, I click on the end of the loop here, which is currently set to unlimited, and I choose count. And that's how many times it repeats. So you can see at the moment it's set to one. Okay. So now we should be able to click and drag a box over that. Go up to Tools, choose My Block Builder. Now on the screen that comes up, you put in a name. I'm just going to call it, whoops, regular polygon. But I need to remember that I can't have spaces in there. And it can't be too many characters either. There we go. Regular polygon. Um, choose an, a symbol if I want, that symbol was fine. And then I need to add my parameters. So every time I press this little button here, I get an extra little parameter popping up. So I'm going to do 
three of those. There we go. At the moment they all look the same, but now I can go in and change them. So click on the first one, then go down to the bottom where it says parameter setup, give it a name. So this will be side length. Make sure it's set to input. Make sure it's set to be a number. Give it a default value. So this is the number of seconds that the robot moves forward through when it's doing the side. So I'll just make the default value one second. And then over here we choose um, what kind of input thing we have. So you can have a slider that goes from side to side, a slide that goes up and down, or something like that where you just type a number in. Now the number is just fine, so I'm going to leave that. And then I go across to parameter icons, and then I can choose the icon that appears above. At the moment it's an A, that's pretty useless. Um, because it's time, I might just find a little stopwatch symbol like that. There we go. Now, click on the next one, go back to parameter setup. This will be um, the angle it turns through, so I'll just call it turn angle. Make sure it's input. Uh, default value, doesn't really matter, I'll put 60 degrees there. You're going to be changing anyway. And again, a t an input would make sense here. You just type the number, the specific number you want directly in. Parameter icons, it's an angle, so maybe something like that would be appropriate. As long as you can just tell by looking at it what it's supposed to be. If you want to know the actual name, you can just hover above it and it will tell you. And then the last one, back to parameter setup, this is, rep, I'm going to call it repetitions because it's, it's how many times you repeat the turn. So three times if you want to make a triangle, four times if you might want to make a square, five times if you want to make a hexagon. Number, default value, well, we're not going to get any shape unless it's a three. And so we'll leave that as a default value and that'll do as well. Uh, then the icon, a little hashtag for number would be just fine. Now I've done all those, I click finish. And then it opens up the screen here, now this was a bit different to last time, that didn't happen last time. And in the screen here, we have the actual my block itself. And then we have these, this thing here, which takes these three input parameters, and this is how we're going to get our input parameters into the actual my blocks here. Now the first one is the time. Now you just notice below this time thing, there's this little thing that looks like a, a tab, I guess. If you click there, hold down the mouse button, and then drag, you get this little wire. It's called a data wire, and you can connect that to a sort of matching thing on the block. So you can see that there's like a little like jigsaw puzzle pieces, is a place that matches it on the blocks themselves. And sticking that data wire there takes whatever value you put in for the stopwatch and sticks it into that spot instead of what's there already. So ideally, we'd like to take the, the time and drag the wire over to the, the time part of the first move block, the move forward one. But, oh, there we go. It's going to work. Yep. So we'll do that. Let go. And then we want to do the same thing for the part that says turn. So turn angle. Now that's going to go into this one. The turn part for the, the second move block. And then the last one, the number of times to repeat. That goes over to here. So down into the end of the loop. And there we go. So now, if we go back to the original program, take this move my block we've created, you can see that we have these little parameters and pressing on there we can enter in whatever we want. So four seconds, 72 degrees, seven repetitions, whatever. And if you get those settings just right, remember you, the angle you either you have to actually enter to get this to work would be different for different robot designs. But if you get the numbers just right, then your robot will trace out a triangle, square, pentagon, hexagon, heptagon, whatever.
Okay, so there you go. We've seen how you can do a more advanced my block. We can now enter input parameters into it. We can add settings to our my block. Okay, so have fun with that, and I'll see you later.